Hi guys, welcome back. Glad that you've chose to watch the video. Today I will share with you 5 late tips for uh, playing the ideal mafia, which will improve your late game for the ones who already passed the beginner phase. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the page because this will take you less than 10 seconds. Thank you. The new tip that I want to share with you guys is about the blue icons. The blue icons are important to save resources. I don't know if you've noticed, but when you assign a capital business, beside the fact that only some of the capos you have are available, there is always one whose icons are blue. This means that the capo offers certain advantage if he is put in charge of the respective business. My advice to you is to always give the business a capo with a blue icons to increase your income, reduce the upgrade cost or reduce the waiting time until you raise the money. But there is still a but. If the couple with the blue icon is to lowest level, try upgrading him as much as you can. And if it is all lower rarity, use the ones that gives you the biggest income. And now, this is the trick. For the business upgrade, replace it with the one who have blue icon. Will be much more efficient and your cost will decrease considerably. After you can switch him back with the one who is getting you the most profit. That way you save a lot of money and time and gain more levels. That means more money for you and more advance to the game. Tip number 2 guys. Spend your jail coins on buying mystery safes. Purchasing items from the jailbreak store must be done smartly, so that you have as many benefits as possible. In order to be able to buy from jailbreak store, you need jail coins. Everyone knows. But the most important part is what to do buy. What I've noticed while playing this game is that the most advantage item in the jail store is the Mr. Safe, which costs 500 jail coins per each safe. At a total of 10,000 jail coins, you can buy 20 Mr. Safe, which automatically, once opened, you'll bring two random legendary couple. But even better, with the rest of the epic cards, you can make an exchange couple that will bring you one or maybe two more legendary capo if you add two more cards. To the remaining egg cards you can add two more from your pack to make another capo exchange. This way with 10,000 jail coins you will win four legendary capos that will help you a lot to upgrade those already existing in your, in your deck or to use them in the battle if you are still in the beginning of the game. So tip number three guys, activate family for bonuses. One of the most important bonus you can get from activating family bonus is adding jail coins bonus to your reward from jailbreak fights. This gives you more coins, that means more goods you can buy from the jail store and faster you advance to the game. The other bonus you must look for is the TV boost bonus and use it on your advantage, increasing the multiplier for the video booster for 2 hours. Pay attention, they all must be activated manually so do not miss out on them. Tip number 4 guys, don't rush on collecting the cigars reward while you were away. As you know, while you're out of the game, there is an ideal cigars collecting mechanism. So when you resume the game, you can go and pick them up and use them to upgrade your capos. But this mechanism can help you in another way. To complete the quest on the map, you play so that when you enter, not to rush to pick up cigars, but wait for the quest to appear with collecting cigars. And so you can advance easier, earning the rewards from the quest as well. The same goes for opening saves or capo exchange. The final tip that I can give you guys is don't waste your legendary capo cards. Perhaps the most important tip I can give you is the upgrade made to legendary capo. Every time you win legendary capo's cards, don't rush to upgrade them, because you will need legendary capo cards to exceed the level of 2 purple stars. To upgrade the legendary capo to more than 2 purple stars, you'll need 6 cards with legendary capos, and that's a lot. So apart from the 5 capos you use in the fight, don't upgrade any other couples to keep the cards and use them smart. Many players, including me, were stuck when we needed to upgrade our legendary couples to more than two purple stars. So be careful and keep that in mind if you want to advance as smooth as you can in the game. So these are the five late tips that can improve your gameplay and can save you countless resources and time spent in front of the game. If you have other tips or strategies, please share them with us leaving a comment to this video. Thank you for watching and enjoy playing the game. See you guys next time.